define youth torch regime symbols in different cities. From October 19 to 24, define youth in different parts of Tehran and cities across Iran, including Mashhad, Shiraz, Zahedan, Kermanshah, Khoramabad, Gurjerd, Kashan, Behbahan, Gachsaran, torch pictures of the regime's supreme leader Ali Khamenei and other regime symbols. During the same period, large placards and banners carrying Mrs. Rajavi's picture were posted in different parts of Tehran, like Abbasabad, Arya Shahr, Niyavaran, and Modaris Expressways, Tehran Pars, Kurdistan, and Kaveh Expressways, and elsewhere. The same was done in public places in many other Iranian cities. Key senators circulate legislation banning Iran nuclear waivers. Two of the U.S. Senate's staunchest opponents of the Iran nuclear deal drafted legislation that would bar the administration from renewing waivers allowing the regime to maintain a limited civil nuclear program. The legislation from Republicans Ted Cruz of Texas and South Carolina's Lindsey Graham is part of a broader effort by hardline opponents of the 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, which President Trump withdrew the U.S. from last year to end the few remaining benefits Iran's regime still gets from the accord. They circulated this draft legislation to officials at the Department of Treasury, State and Energy this week, according to a U.S. official familiar with the matter. Man sentenced to prison for evading Iran's sanctions. Behruz Behruzian, a 64-year resident of Central Ohio, was sentenced to a 20-month sentence for violating U.S. sanction by supplying industrial and oil technology to Iran, according to the U.S. Department of Justice. For years, this defendant deliberately sought to defeat and evade the Iranian sanctions for personal gain while supplying critical equipment to the Iranian industrial complex. As this case demonstrates, the desire for a specialized American technology and the willingness to legally supply it to hostile countries are very real and ever-present," said Assistant Attorney General for National Security John C. Demers. The Department of Justice and our law enforcement partners remain committed to identifying, disrupting, and prosecuting this kind of criminal conduct. New demonstrations in Iraq. Iran out out. At least 25 protesters were killed in Iraq on Friday when security forces used tear gas on an Iranian-backed militia open fire to try to quell renewed demonstrations against corruption and economic hardship, security sources said. Demonstrators in Baghdad and Nasiriyah were seen chanting, Iran out out, Baghdad will be free, in continuing sign of the Iraqi people's protests against Tehran's meddling in their country. Nearly 1,800 people were injured nationwide, according to medical sources. As demonstrators vented frustration at political elites, they say have failed to improve their lives after years of conflict. <laughs>